Hey guys, Munch Murphy here with one of the final updates for the Vargeist. Um, I have the wings finished and I put the last layer of skin colour on it. Which I went with a really kind of bright blue. I used the Ice Games Workshop Ice Blue. Um, you know, I'm still a bit mixed on it. I think it comes, it's a lot brighter than it looks than on the camera. Um, but I think it kind of looks nice with the purple wings. I finally got them finished. Um, what I did was the first the layer of I think it was lick purple. I have to look at it. Yeah, so it was lick purple or lick. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, on the wings, and then I did a purple wash to darken it down, and then I just did a brighter highlight with lick purple. And Commando Khaki, I think it was. I have it written down. Yeah, I have it written down. Commando Khaki. But it was Commando Khaki with just a small bit of lick purple because if you, when I was adding the, the Khaki into the purple, I had to add a lot more. So I just did the Commando Khaki with a small bit of lick in it just to kind of brighten up the the higher parts, kind of. So I don't know whether it'll come up. You can kind of see it's a bit brighter. Here, but you can kind of see it just along the middle, you know, like the highest parts to really brighten it up, and um, and then the ice blue on the skin, and nearly all the higher parts still, and then the red fur. A lot of people seem to like the fur, and like if you want to say like, don't do anything with it, it's fine the way it is. I just went over with a dry brush of blood red, just to kind of highlight the the kind of higher parts sticking out. And um, the wings went together, just looking kind of pretty handy. Um, the only thing was I had to make sure to follow the picture on the box which wing goes on which guy because you can mix them up pretty easily and um, yeah they look pretty cool they're a lot cooler in person or like in not in person but you know like when you're holding it together because I wasn't I didn't like these that much when they first came out you know I thought this guy kind of looked a bit stupid they might uh, I don't know what they might be doing but this guy looked like he's just kind of flapping around or something but they're a lot more kind of intimidating and a lot nicer looking in proper, you know, when you have them in your hand looking at them and building them. Uh, th this guy I did have a little bit of a trouble with the the wing because I tilted his head just a small bit, you know, to his left. And then I think the wing, I remember to keep it in camera. And then I think the wing is meant to go in a bit further. So that's why he's kind of touching the base there, but it's not really much of a problem. It's still come out pretty cool. So um yeah the last part of the video is I'm gonna have to come up with something cool for the base. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. Um I think I might either try and do a graveyard team. I was gonna try and put them up on something high. Well not too high, but you know, as if they're standing on top of a building, that's what the base could be. Or the edges of a cliff or something like that. I'm not really sure yet. I have to just look around and and just Google it really for some cool best and ideas. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. These are like way nicer than you think once you buy them. They're, uh, they're just as cool as their counterparts, the Cryptars. I love the Cryptars, I think they're awesome. But these guys are pretty cool as well. So uh, let me know what you guys think. If we went with the right colour scheme, the purple wings and the kind of the blue bodies. And the red fur. It's a great bit of a mixture there. And uh, leave a comment below. If you like them, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button as well. And uh, yeah, so that's it. So keep an eye out for the next update video. It'll be the bases. And um, I'm going to have to think of, really think about now what to do with it. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys next video.